Roll them. Now I can finally take this out. It's the last piece. Oh man, that thing tight. Mm. There it is. And it's really old, dirty, and dusty. So I'm gonna clean it up, oil it up good, grease it up, and uh, put it back in. Cut. Rolling. Now I'm just gonna clean this up. And it's dirty. And then I'll just chase it with this uh, silicone spray. This is just silicone lubricant spray. Silicone. I call it heavy duty silicone lubricant. Get it Walmart. I'm going to spray it down with this just to wash the brake cleaner off of it and make sure it doesn't corrode the plastic. And then I'm going to chase it with a lithium grease, white lithium grease spray. And I'm just going to grease everything up really well. All the nooks and crannies. I don't feel like taking this thing apart, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, let's stick this thing back in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually close the door later before I tighten it down so that it'll line back up with the pin mm -hmm. in, the, in the truck that it goes to. So I'll just, for now, just sort of snug it a little bit. Rolling. All right, I cleaned this up with some Windex and Crip towels. And this plastic, you know, all these plastic parts, I don't, I don't like, you know, when they age, they, they start to crumble and stuff. So I'm going to put some of this uh, Electro Shield on it. It's just an corrosion inhibitor. Kind of like, it's sort of a waxy type coating once it dries. I'm just going to dust it down so that it, you know, has something to help keep the plastic from dry rotting. Since I have it all apart, it's old already anyways. Just give it a light coat. Maybe it'll help it against the elements. Lithium grease. Obviously on the spring and the mechanism. This little mechanism here. Spring, just to help keep it from corroding, maybe last a little couple, few more years, and then a little bit inside this this groove where this key works, where this key runs, this little sliding metal piece goes. And I'm gonna put it back in. I'll wipe it all down when I get it all to put back together. This in here. First, I'll, I guess I'll put the top one on first. What do you think? Like that. Like that. And then the bottom one. You can see that. I'll slide this back in here to the bottom. Down here, like this, where it goes, though. It's like Rolling? Put a couple of rivets in this bracket. I drilled the holes already. The drilled it walked on me because it broke. It's alright. They're like eight inch rivets or something small. It's just glued on here, so this will fix that. 
All right, now it's not glued on anymore. Now it's riveted. Mm -hmm. Good. Rolling. I'm gonna put the new lock in since I have it. Put this clip back on. Actually, you know what? I think the, the lock's got to go before the clip because it'll fall in those grooves. This part of the lock goes to the top. It's also got a wide slot. So. That's how it goes. Make sure it went in all the way. Yeah, it did. Hey, look at how easy that went in. The other one must have been stuck. Here. I'll go ahead and put this clip back on. There we go. That's it. I guess we could try the key, huh? cleaned up and working good yeah so that's good just need to get the rest of the door together I'm gonna hook this bag up there we go plug that back in this side uh, the side with these slots because this side don't have them see only this side does. This side with the slots goes here, like this, and then these these things that we took out. Obviously, they go back on. So I'm gonna just put it back on the way it came out. Right here, and the other one. Really? I'm gonna spray. I put this one back on, uh, and I need to put this. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this Electro Shield on these plastic pieces. Yep preserve them so they don't rot. Help keep the plastic from rotting. Same thing with this one. Put a little bit of spray on it, just get a light coating. This one goes here where those two little holes are. They line up there. Electro shield on this, all this plastic, so it doesn't dry rot. Put a little spray in there. Get it up in here. Now this one has to go. You kind of have to shove these down a little bit, and then kind of get that in it. Just like a narrow, a wider spot area right there, because it's too narrow here. So you got to kind of get that up there and kind of shove these down a little bit and to get it in there. So put that in that groove up there in the corner, and then, like I said, these have to go sort of down into their slots. There we go. Like that a little bit. guy I went ahead and greased it all up with lithium grease and a little bit of silicone grease put electric shield all over it help the plastic and the metal keep from rusting and rotting I'm 
watching this real close to make sure it goes all the way in because if it if it doesn't it'll bow this it'll bind it that's what happened on the other side I started to want to do that I had to squeak on it to get it in there this side going right in so now I'm gonna put this one in same way it came out Line this up here. And you can see that on the camera. This little thing. Mm -hmm. It just just goes right back in there, and it goes that way. I'm gonna just pop it in there like that. Same thing with the bottom. Just goes right back in. And then this one's tricky because it's. Hard to see, but it'll go. Do the, do the bottom one. That way it stays in. I'm doing the top one. Put my hand up in there. There we go. Just have to bump it a little bit. Now it's back in. This wire it goes back in this hole. Wire holder. And of course that one goes up there, but we'll wait a second. We're gonna need to put this piece on. So where is this piece? We need to clean this piece up and get it ready to go back on. <laughs> 